In this episode, I'm going to show you the carnage that is about to happen when I peel this wrap on this bumper because this car has bad aftermarket paint. I'll also be showing you the tools you'll need um, to do this whole wrap by yourself at home. All right, so that's a nice view, actually, but um, here we go. Oh, I have to redo all this again. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. All the paint is coming off. Welcome back to the channel with Paradox the Rapper. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit that subscribe button. Today, what I have behind me is a Mercedes C300, just a plain stock C300, um, one of the newer models. The owner of this car does not want to be on camera. She just wants her car wrapped in that satin white roll behind me here. So in this episode, I'm gonna show you the tools that you're gonna need if you're trying to do this at home by yourself, in your garage, or even outside. So. There are a lot of tricks to it. I'm gonna teach you what tools you need to get and how to use them and what parts they come into play. So I might not use all the tools for this particular wrap, but um, there are definitely things that you should have in hand that is handy. So everything on this side of the line is definitely needed and everything on that side of the line is nice to have. So let's go through it. So this one actually, uh, it actually has this really nice front grill. That's freaking sweet. And it's gonna go into this tech crap. Um, this is a white pearl, but the pearl is gold. So it's a satin white pearl um, with a gold hue to the pearl. So that's gonna be dope. Okay, so right down here, we got items that you absolutely need on this side of the line and items that you don't really need, but it's nice to have on this side of the line. Let's try to go through this quick. Number one, absolutely need this. A um, air compressor. I don't care what size air compressor you get, get one from Harbor Freight. You need this um, to make your wrap look good. Here you have a nozzle. I just use this nozzle and when I hit the air compressor, let's see. Okay, that fills it up with air and then you just blow behind the wrap. That's how you're gonna avoid getting contaminations in the wrap. Um, before you do any of that, you need your clay magic. So you wanna clay bar down the car by using, uh, this is just a random bottle. It is not bug spray. <laughs> uh, that's just an empty bottle. And what I put in here is water, dish soap, okay? I spray that, clay bar. And then I use that as a lubricant as well for when I squeegee the wrap. Um, you you want to use the, the soapy water so it doesn't scratch the high gloss surface. You need this heat gun, okay? I don't care where you get it. Uh, it doesn't need to be fancy. It just needs to get hot uh, in two settings, low and high. So low, high, okay? That's what you need. Get one from Harbor Freight, it's like 20 bucks. Okay, next we have some knifeless tape. Uh, you can technically wrap a car without knifeless tape, but I don't recommend it. You're gonna want this if you're new to the game. Okay. In this bottle, I have 70% isopropyl alcohol and 50% water. Half 70% alcohol, half water. Here I got a tape measure. So you just need this to cut out the wrap. I got some uh, just disposable wrap knives. You can get these from Harbor Freight. You can want these pick things. So there's other things that can use for tucking but these picks are really useful for pulling back some of the trim so that you can tuck it in with these uh, squeegees. But one side, you're gonna cover it with the felt and the other side, not. These are a bag of felts. You can find these online. Just Google monkey strips, okay? Monkey strips. And then you order a bag like 25 of those. Right here, you got a 10 millimeter socket. That's usually handy and a variety of sockets. Um, a really long Phillips head screwdriver. One of these tort uh, screwdrivers. A lot of the door handles are gonna be opened by this. Okay, next we got a very thin, very small 
flathead, that's gonna be useful. You never know when you're gonna need to stick something into the doors to take that off. So different cars are different. Um, I have a mini Phillips head as well. That's nice for like type spaces. Here, these are a set of tools, right? So these are like plastic pry tools. You can use this to take off trim and stuff like that without damaging the uh, paint or the interior. A microfiber towel, I don't care what it is, as long as it soaks up water and it's very soft, that's what you need. Infrared thermometer. So when you heat gun, you use this thermometer to check the temperature of the item in which you have, um, you're, you're blowing. So if you, if you heat stuff up beyond uh, 180 degrees or um, 200 degrees, it will stay the way it is. It won't go back. Okay, so everything right here is essential. You must have these things to be able to do the wrap. Of course, the wrap itself. Over here, this is nice to have. You have tape. So you can tape off a panel and then you can cut on the tape and you won't be afraid of accidentally cutting the panel you already did or the panel you haven't done. These things right here are, they're really nice to have. So if you had to choose between all these things, I would definitely pick these up. So I'm not sure where you get this, but this is called, uh, this is some kind of like wrap cutter or thing. You just have to just Google that. Razor that doesn't cut stuff behind it. So I, I don't know what you call it, but the blades in here, I have two of them. There's that design and there's this design. This one actually can separate the wrap between the backing paper with the backing paper on. So um, right here, you have primer 94 with a brush. This is very useful for doing cars that do not have paint on them. So um, on KBD bumpers and stuff like that, that will help you stick. Plasti dip, black. Um, parts that are hard to wrap, like, like under trim and stuff like that, you can Plasti dip it in special occasions, okay? But let the owner know you're gonna do it. This helps you sand your Bondo down and your primer down so that it's even. Um, you try to hand sand it so it doesn't go that great, you would have to block it or use that. And right here you have a power screwdriver that's useful for taking stuff off. But when you strap this thing to it, it's very nice to remove like badges and stuff like that. But be careful, don't exceed 4,000 RPMs or you're gonna burn through the bumper or the paint. So you gotta have your tripod so you can take slick videos of you doing it so you can prove to the world that you know how to wrap. And here, a battery jumper in case the battery on the car dies. All right, that is about all the tools you'll need. So let's pull this car into the garage. All right, so this is soap and water and he's clay barring the whole surface. Just kind of rub it pretty good there you kind of you can use a clay bar mitt but that works just as good okay so a number of tools are being used here so uh, first i'm cutting the whole thing in half with the uh knife thing that doesn't damage the paint on the hood and then um, i actually measured it out with the uh, measuring tape and uh, as you're wrapping this you're using a heat gun you're using your um, squeegee to just tuck everything in so um, if you look at my previous videos, you can see how you can cut on the squeegee um, by putting the squeegee behind the wrap so you don't damage any of the headlights. And that way you don't have to take the headlight off and you still have extra material to tuck it in. Um, I did mention in the, the tools portion, the wrap magnets. So you can just get these magnets on eBay. Just type in wrap magnets. I don't care what it is, as long as it sticks to the car and it's rubbery, you're good. If you're new to cutting, um, you can actually use the squeegee as a guide. Um, so you just run the squeegee along the body line there and then cut on the opposite side of the squeegee. So that way your knife won't slip and you won't cut the door or the wrap or anything like that. You just cut where it's supposed to be cut. But what you want to do is break that knife off and make sure it's super sharp. The sharper it is, the better and cleaner the cut. Okay, so we got another Mercedes with bad paint. But here, you see this right here. Okay. So if I pull it back, look at that. That's clear coat coming off on my on my wrap. So I'm, I'm losing all kinds of stickiness right here. And right down here, this is the big problem right here. Look at that. 
So when you go to reposition the wrap, and this happens, so um, yeah, they bought this used, so I'm not sure if this is because of the, uh, it's an aftermarket paint job, or if Mercedes just suck at painting. So <laughs> let me know in the comments what you think. Once this is all off and clean, then you can sand this. This is a risk that you do take when you are wrapping if you're if you have an old car, okay? Um, and you don't know the history of it, this can happen. So be warned, if you're getting to the wrap game and you are an installer or if you are the owner, this can happen. And you cannot predict this until you lay the wrap on the paint. I have done this wrap on multiple cars before, Tesla's. It does not do this. Okay, so this is purely bad paint. All right, let's get to scraping. So yeah, more scraping and sanding. But look at that. Yeah, see when when the wrap sticks to your paint more than the paint sticks to the car, you can see how that's where the paint was. So whoever painted it didn't do it that well. The very top layer of it came off on the wrap. See, there's a difference there. Okay. And it looks like that right there. Okay, and I'm finally done. So there. That's really as good as that's going to get. Um, if the paint wasn't messed up, then it would be better. But there you go. Okay. So now it's all tucked in. All this is tucked in. So now I can finally cut this bad boy out. Holy cow. This is taking me two days to do this. Usually it's only one day for a bumper. Driver's side door. Door handle section. More flaking clear coat. You want to do that and get all of that nastiness off the car. You can still see that it's just the clear coat on this one. Okay, to fix this, when you go to sell the car or whatever, they need to tape it off, sand this with like a high grit sandpaper, like wet sand it and then re-clear coat. Okay, so usually um, what you're supposed to do is no matter what the car looks like, you want to use just scrap pieces of wrap you have laying around to test all the panels on the car to see if it lifts paint. Um, if it doesn't, then you're good to go. But uh, I forgot to test on this front bumper, so I had to end up doing this whole front bumper with all the nastiness on it and scrape it off. Um, I wasn't confident in the fact that I would have a big 10 foot piece at the end of all this to redo the front bumper and um, I just want to get the whole car done and then once I see what I have left then I can either reorder or just redo it. So I would probably say the most important thing about wrapping is that your area is clean and the surface is clean and especially when you pull that backing paper off all kinds of dust and contaminants will be sucked right into there due to static. So um, you want to make sure that you blow the back and the front of the stuff and all around the area that you're working with the air compressor really, really good before you pull that backing paper back. And then um, you want to avoid reaching behind there as much as possible because um, your skin particles, that, that will be stuck to the wrap, all kinds of stuff. So um, minimal amount of lift time as much as possible is probably the best way to go. All right, it's starting to get dark, but I have just finished the whole Mercedes. I just have the one mirror over there that needs to be black and then the door handles to be put back on. So um, this wrap looks really good and it's nice and gold. So it's got like a nice um, kind of gold pearl effect to it. Okay. But the paint problem 
in the front. So what I'm going to do, we're gonna peel it off, sand down the whole front bumper, and then rewrap because I just I have just enough material left. So let's do this. So here is what it looks like um, after I peeled it. So uh, there's my sanding spot. Some more paint being lost once you peel. Some more up there, and um, of course right there. That's where I sanded it. That's where I'm losing more paint. All right here, toasted. Look at that. And then right down here, you also got more coming off. I sanded right here, but you see how it just spreads. So yeah, and then right here, you're losing clear coat. Okay, and over here some more. And this side, here, here, here. Sanded it there. Um, some more right here, a little bit. Alright, so here we have both the owners. They don't want to show their face, but um, this is going to be their first time seeing it. Alright. What do you think? Good. Wish we had some sunlight, but... This is better than sunlight. <laughs> you know what? It looks really good. It's actually really good. You guys like that pearl? Yeah, it's nice. That's dope, huh? It looks really nice. I like what you do with the seam here, the black. Yeah. Looking clean. Yeah. So I did that because uh, just because you were losing paint, it's really hard to to get it in there it and make it look way. clean. And I think this looks better that yeah, way. It looks really good. I think it, it makes that your crystal thing. Like yeah. these things pop too. So. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me close the gate. Yeah, so that's when I figured out that this car was repainted because of this misalignment, right? The whole front bumper was redone. Um, that's why you were losing paint, Yeah. right? And then you, due to wear and tear, you lost a little bit uh, inside of inside the door handle. Inside the door handle. On the, on the other side. Uh, just but, one of them, right? But the rest of the car went on no problem, no issues at all. I really like it. You like it? Yeah. Okay, good. Good, you got your uh, black roof right here. So it's a little dirty because it's been sitting outside all day. Oh, but if you wipe it down, it's just super gloss black. Then I did your mirrors gloss black as well. Okay. And then there's a seam right here on this side. All right. But other than that, this is all pretty, was uh, all done in one piece. I did your bottom thing in black That's good. yeah yeah oh, yeah was it easier a second time around heck bumper? no that bumper really? sucks yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh you know because there's like so many indents you got to go into here yeah, I know. all right you got to go into here and it didn't it doesn't stick as well the second time because it it's been sanded so you'll see in the footage okay. what it looks like uh, I didn't sand all of it, but I sanded a lot of it. Like you lost paint right here and then right down here and then right over here. And then just in random spots like over here and then up here. So anytime that I touch wrap to, to the paint and it came off, I have to sand it down. Oh, that's funny. 
But I mean, if you guys are looking to um, get rid of this car later on, then you would just want them to go and respray the front bumper. Or we'll just leave the wrap on. Or leave the wrap on <laughs> and sell them. That's why we spray because they were trying to sell it anyways, because of like drop shifting and whatnot. Yeah, well, no, it was in an accident. You know? Because right here, uh -huh. you, you can feel this touches right here. All right, you feel that? Yeah. So Let that is an indent. Once I sanded the paint off of that because it was lifting paint, mm -hmm. you can see like a rip, a bondo repair. Yeah, and if it's not bad. if it's not OEM spec, then the paint can lift. God. Like I told you. Well, right, yeah. well, it's good. Great. Really tell. Are you happy with it? Yeah. Tell the camera. Very tell happy it. with it. How about you, young I'm lady? I'm extremely happy with it. it All looks right. Really good. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is like the effect you wanted, right? Exactly. Yeah. What I wanted. With this satin pearl, it's so sick. Yeah. What do you guys think? In the end, it turned out okay, even though it was a little stressful that your paint was peeling, right? Right. Just a little bit, right? <laughs> what, what, it doesn't what, do that. What did you think when I sent you <laughs> the text messages? I was like, bro. <laughs> about what? The front bumper? Yeah. About I mean, it was kind of expected, but okay. I expected more peeling from just because clear coat. I mean, yeah. I had, uh, well, had good. experience with it, but it's all we'll good. We'll see what it looks like when I release the video. Let us know what you think about this Mercedes. And uh, let, me, let us know what you think about this pearl color. If you guys have any questions about what wrap tools to use or what to do when the stuff happens to the car or anything you want to ask, leave it in the comment below. And then I will make another episode where we, I will answer all of your questions. So, um, yeah, if you're trying to do this at home by yourself or whatever, or even if you're in a shop, you kind of have to put the expectation there that if the paint is not stock, that stuff will and can happen so um, just be on the lookout and you know the I can tell you guys all kinds of things but uh, the best way to learn is to really get the tools and then get some wrap and then just try it yourself so go to techwrap.com use my code paradox for 10% off they are not sponsoring this episode and um, they don't give me they don't pay me any money period so <laughs> they just give me a nice discount on the wrap and um, the more you guys order from them the more clout I get and uh, maybe they'll send me a free roll or something once in a while but um, yeah I'm just here to help you guys find the cheapest and most reliable wrap you can find for your cars um, if this is what you want to try to do so um, yeah leave me a comment anything you like and subscribe to me if you haven't already until next time I'll catch you guys later